welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kathleen and today I am here to tell you my top seven things to do before the summer ends because for me and for many of you, it's only two to three months long so we have to enjoy that minute of it, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Number one, host or attend a picnic. Summer is all about being outside, so a picnic is the perfect option to go, to have one, to host one, to do whatever you want to do, just go to one. I'm actually attending picnic at Governor's Island this weekend, which is a huge picnic full of pink blankets and lots of rosé, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be amazing, so I'm super excited. I've never been, so it's definitely something like that you can do, or just host your very own family, friends, in your backyard, at the beach, at the park. Anywhere, just do it. So talking about rosé, because that's what we were talking about, right? I say go out and have a rosé wine tasting at your favorite local wine bar. For me, I live in Hoboken, that's Big 14. But do it wherever you want. Get your girlfriends, your husband, your wife, your friends, by yourself, not by yourself. And go out and have a great time. I feel like rosé becomes the it summer cocktail. I'm guilty of drinking it all year long all year round, pretty much. But I say, join in on the fun, take some Instagram pictures, selfies with your rosé glass in hand, and you are good to go. Number three, and this is a no-brainer, attend or host as many barbecues as you possibly can. I know, I said it, it was a no-brainer. Barbecues, cookouts, whatever you call them, are so summer, are so, so much fun. It's an excuse to get everybody together, just eat bad food and drink, so host barbecues galore that's my advice number four go for some good ice cream summer and ice cream are like the perfect match and I'm not just talking about the mr. softy truck although I don't discriminate against mr. softy but it's delicious but go somewhere where you haven't been one of these fancy New York big shops or creameries I actually just discovered in my new hood Jersey City because that's where I'll be moving um, this Bake Shops, I think it's Bake Shop Creamery, I think it's called Milk Love Sugar if I'm not mistaken. If you've ever been, let me know down below. It was so good. I had red velvet ice cream. Oh, the gods came down. It was amazing. So that's the kind of ice cream I'm talking about. I'm going to take it nice long walk while you're doing it because that's just nice. It's summer, right? Number five, find the perfect summer dress. You know the dress I'm talking about? It's light material, it's flowy, it's scream summer, it's probably a bright color, white. I love white, especially now with my new tan I've been sporting. So go out and find one. I'll link some options down below of some of my favorites. And then once you find that dress, go work the town because that dress needs some play. You need to go out and enjoy the night. Right. Number six is do some alfresco dining. I mean, come on, this is also a no-brainer, but it's summer and you have to find your favorite restaurant, one that you can sit outside and enjoy that nice summer breeze because that's what it's all about. Eating outside, drinking outside, eating outside, it's summer! Number seven, lastly but certainly not least, after you've done everything I just mentioned, You've gone through my summer bucket list. This is the last thing you need to do. Ready? You need to nap under a hammock because you've painted the town red, you've gone drinking, you've gone to barbecues, you are exhausted and nothing screams summer like a nice nap under some shade in a hammock, breezing your hair. Oh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> Now that I'm done with this video, maybe I'll go take a nap under a hammock. Just have to find one, but definitely do it. That's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you do any of these things, let me know down below. If you have any more suggestions, I always love to hear from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up, please, please, please. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.